I wanted to compare the success of givers, takers, and matchers. Who are the most productive? Who are the least productive? So I got data across different kinds of jobs and different measures of success, tracking the productivity of engineers as a function of how many favors they do for their colleagues versus how many they receive in return. Looking at the grades of medical students based on how much they like helping others. And then also tracking salespeople. How much revenue do they accrue each year, depending on the amount of time they invest in their colleagues and their customers? Now, a lot of people think that the takers finish last. And if that's you, I want to congratulate you on being a raging optimist. They don't. The data show consistently that the givers finish last in each of these jobs. The worst engineers who get the least work done and make the most errors are the ones who do more favors than they get back. They're so busy helping their colleagues do their work, they run out of time and energy to get their own stuff done. In medicine, this is going to sound like a joke, but it's not. The lowest grades in medical school belong to the students who agree most strongly with statements like, I love helping others. Which suggests the doctor you ought to trust is the one who came to medical school with no desire to help anybody. And then in sales, the lowest revenue belongs to the people who spend the most time trying to help both their colleagues and their clients. I used to work in sales, and I found this a little bit puzzling. So I went to our data. I found the person with the highest giver score in his company and the lowest revenue. And I asked him, how do you explain this? Why do you suck at your job? I didn't ask it that way. But what is, what is the cost of being a giver in sales? And he paused and he said, can I be honest with you? I said, no, as a researcher, I want you to lie to me. Yes, please be honest. He said, well, if I can be 100% candid, I care so deeply about my customers that I would never sell them one of our crappy products. I'm now rethinking honesty as a research policy. <laughs> 